Hi, it's Jonica from Triple B Squad. I'm gonna be playing Portal 2 because that works and I think I'll be pretty good at it. I've I did play a little bit of the beginning already. Um so up to like the sixth test, I kinda know what I'm doing already. Um but yeah, I'm pretty pretty decent at puzzle games, so hopefully I won't get too stumped. But we'll see. We'll see. A new one. Yeah. Okay. Man, I haven't eaten these Pringles and they're so good. But they're so crunchy. But I want to keep eating them. I won't though. So I'm uber sick today. I've got a fever and all that. So if you hear the fan in the background, that's, that's You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Bloop. Good. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Down. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Do -do -do. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. What happens if it's stuck? You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Bloop. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. I've been under. Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just jumped. But oh, never mind, say apple. 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 Okay, you know apple. what, that's close enough. Just hold tight. Apple. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Oh, it's on the TV. Oh. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. You know how we're moving. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Uh. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. That lamp is why? in good shape. Drugs. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Right, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? <laughs> Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Ugh. The person in there. Okay, listen. We it's should okay. get our storage straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you 19. checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment. 
something in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Ah, the land. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override oh, on this. this? Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Ah. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Okay. Seriously, do hold on this time. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, Bye. at least you're... Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially that. apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency Me testing five, protocols, five, testing two. can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational yeah. support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Ta-da! There I am. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The oh, odds of this happened twice and are very slim. I'm totally just skimming through all of his audio. I don't care. I'm about the puzzles. You know what I'm saying? If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in Why? which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Excellent. <laughs> Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, Whoa. your test environment is unsupervised. Church. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Excuse me. Number dos. Hey, you made it. Hello. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Uh. Seems pretty shallow. Like, I'm really surprised I survived with follower. I am alive. He's really pretty. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. 
Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. So far, so good. Blasting through them. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Uh, always get stuck on the walls. Oh. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Captain Bill and the Moon. is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Richmond Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. the principles of momentum to movement through ports. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, Romeo God Sebastian, help. why are you crying? No need to cry, dear child. Whoa! Okay, all that shooting was Romeo, not me. Get off the computer, dude.
don't know what I'm doing. If you are an odd employee who has discovered this facility oh. amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I'd say I'm doing pretty well. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions oh, or concerns Jesus. about this policy. Please remain calm. Okay. Get out of here. And off we go. Okay. Look at this! No rail, 
to tell us where to go? Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Hold on, then. Where are we? Yeah, I'll just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes. No, no. We're not stopping. Hello. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Little baby. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, chamber. Cool. and she will probably kill us if if uh, she's okay. Um, awake. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty yeah, piece of work she I was, honestly. Like a proper mania. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down again? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. A little sort of long chunk of time yeah, where yeah. Um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping there, so um, that's pretty much the whole story, you have to see. Don't touch it. Oh, where do I go? Ridiculous. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. <laughs> Just, well, obviously, you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But uh, as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, alright? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand? <laughs> Can you see it anywhere? No. I can't see it anywhere. Uh, table, oh, plug oh. me in, and I'll turn the lights on. Okay, here let there be light. That's uh, God. It's quoting God. <laughs> oh, look at that. Tony. Ominous. But probably fine. As long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod. Escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Uh -huh. no, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. This should slow it down. No. Next, go faster. Turn on everything I want. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still Since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. <laughs> okay.
I control it? No. Oh. Ooh. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Well, this seems like a pretty good spot to close it up in this video. So I'm gonna do that. Save it. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll post a video continuing this because I just have to now so I don't know when I'll do that though because I am sick as a dog so we'll save it yeah thank you for watching um you know do the likes and favorites and subscribes and all that whatever okay I'm gonna go now oh, oh no okay yep 